with the old man offering to Uh-oh. feed the main character. Can't hear anything. Oh, oh, um, um huh, huh. Yeah, I'll check if it's on my end. Um, hello. Oh, hi. hi. I hear you now. Hi, oh, weird. <laughs> I guess it was just like a delayed okay. thing. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we left off with the old man offering to feed the main character. Uh, do you remember how this kanji is read? Yes, niku. Perfect, niku. Our next word is nomu. Do you know what nomu means? Nomu, to drink. Yes. So now we have nomu komu. How could we combine these together to make one word? We use the uh, root, which is nomi komu. Yep, nomi komu. So nomi komu basically means to swallow rather than like drinking something, more like a kind of swallowing, to swallow down kind of. Hey. And tuba means spit. Hi. Hey. Um, do you know what the da form of nomi? Ko- I mean, yeah, the past tense form of nomi komu is. A past tense form of nomi komu, that would be nomi kun nomi konda. Hi, right, konda. Yep, nomi konda. Perfect. Okay, so if I want to say I swallowed spit or to swallow spit, what particle do you think I should use? Tsubaga no mikomu. Hi. So theoretically, if it was fully unconscious, you would probably use ga. But we actually use o because the idea is that you're kind of forcing yourself to swallow spit. So that one's like a little bit of a hard one. Like you're like specifically swallowing it. Like you're uh, gulping. Um. Okay. Tsubao. So we have a sound effect here in our actual sentence, but I thought you could guess what it meant by con- in the context. But yeah, let's go read our sentence from the book. Okay. Ore wa gokuri to tsuba o nomikonda. Okay, so I swallow, I go, I go down my spit. Yep. Gokuri to gop. Kind of a sound. Yeah, that is a sound. Yep. It is a sound of you gulping. So in English, we do gu. We do say the word gulp. And in Japanese, it's gokuri, which is very similar, funnily enough. Um, Do you know this kanji? Atama. Hi, atama. Head. Can you read the sentence for me? Atama no naka de koe ga suru. Meaning, I hear the sound in my, in between my head. Yeah, so naka doesn't really mean in between. I don't think it ever really means that. It can mean within or in the middle. But it doesn't ever, ever, it doesn't ever mean in between something. That would be like a different word like aida or tochu if we're talking about time. But this is just inside of something or during something. Um, but yeah, so atama no nakade means in my head. Like you said, you can hear a voice. There's a voice in my head would be probably how we'd say this in English. Um, do you know what yameru means? Yameru. Stop. Yes. And it is a do verb. Do you know what shigoto means? Shigoto. Work. Yes, a job, a work. Uh, can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo to you shigoto o yameru. What does this mean? Such a job as a thief. Stop. Yes. So to... stop the work that is thieving. Yes, to stop the work that is thieving. Perfect. Um, what's the te form of yameru? Te form of yameru. This is a ru verb. Um, therefore, it would be yamete. Yamete without a small two. So just yamete. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I meant that. I well, meant that. verbs are the ones that are with the with the um with the glottal stop. Yeah, meant that. So okay. if you see te form all on its own, this is an order. And it's I would say it's a generic order. It doesn't really insinuate anything. It's not polite. It's not impolite. It's literally just like saying the word stop in English. But yeah, can you I, read the sentence for me? Yamete to you koe ga tsuru. Um, the voice quote stop. Yep. Uh, do so. Um, so this is basically this just means there is a voice. Basically, there's a voice. There is a voice. And I would translate this as that is saying stop. It's not exactly what it's saying. It's defining the sound of the voice, like the voice as yamete. But contextually, we know that's what they're saying. They're saying stop. The voice that's saying stop. Yamete to you koe. Um, so this would oke. be ga tsuru and not ga aru. So that has to do with um Japanese. They like koi ga tsuru, which is this, the voice is being done. They they prefer that when they're saying there's a voice, then saying a voice exists. Um, I'm not sure what would be why that is exactly. That would be um, you'd have to go into like how words are made in a more complex way. It's like you know, like it's I guess you could say it's an idiom. I can't really just say why they're doing that, but just the this is just how you say it. there is a voice basically. Koi ga suru. Hey. Um, so oku. Oku goes at the end of verbs where you get oku, then te form, to basically mean to do something in advance, which a lot of times will say, like, I should do something, is a lot of times what it um tends to mean in context. So, yamete oku means I should stop. But literally, it's I will stop in advance. So, I'm going to stop before I get in trouble or before I get ahead of myself. It's kind of the contextual meaning. So, it becomes I should stop rather than... um. I will stop in advance. So imperative form. Imperative form is a lot like te form we just saw, in which this is a kind of order. This The meaning of this form is like, it's very much like saying you better do something or you're cheering somebody to do something, like during sports or something. But um, in this context, it's more like you better. You better do this. All you have to do for ooh verbs is drop the u and add e. So modoru becomes modore. So how would you change oku to do into advance into imperative form, into order form? Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And let's go read our sentence from the book. Atama no naka de yamete okay. Um, in there's a voice saying, um, you should you should go ahead and stop. In my head, perfect. You should stop. Yep. Perfect. Now we're doing a little kanji check. Mm, I think I actually knew all that kanji, so I'm gonna skip that. Uh, do you know how this first part of this is this is read? It's a pretty common hon. kanji. Yep, hon. So this shows up in the word honmono, which is like the original, the genuine article. Honmono. Can you read this sentence for me? Honmono. Hai. Sono seki wa honmono no mado seki da. Hai. So a lot of kanji like to have a different pronunciation when they're not married. So hon is almost always pronounced as hon. It's very happy and content, single or married. However, the rock, when it's married and it's like content in its life, it is seki. However, when it's like, please, please someone day to me, it changes how it presents itself to show how desperate it is and it calls itself ishi. Hi. So instead it's <laughs> sono ishi wa honmono no mado seki da. Which, what does this mean? This means 
The rock is the real magical stone. Hi. This rock is a real magical stone. Um, machigao means wrong or incorrect. Machigao. It's kind of made of the kanji for question and wrong or different. Different question. Chigao, which is incorrect. Machigao. Machigao. Um, do you know how this part is read? Mono. Yep, mono. Can you read these two sentences for me? Hon wa machigao ta. Sore wa hon mono no mado seki janai. Hi. So can you read this word once more for me? Machigata. Perfect. Machigata. So it's, this right here says Khan was incorrect. That is not a real magical stone. Hi. Uh, machigai. Yes. Machigai nai is not incorrect. Not incorrect. In other words, Hi. to be correct. Um. So, can you read this for me? Kon wa machigai nai. Ji-san wa honmono no majutsushi da. What does this mean? Kon was right. The Ji-san is a real magician. Perfect. Nice. What do you think is the te form of machigai nai? Machigai nai. Te form. Te form. So, machi naku, machi gai naku. Hi. So officially, te form would be having the te with it, nakte. But um, it is in this in where we're gonna see it. It's not gonna have the te form because uh, you don't need it for um, if it's the and te. <laughs> but theoretically, it is kute. Uh, and there's definitely occasions where you'll see that, but the te is dropped often. Bahai. No te. <laughs> so if I said machigai naku, ari wa honmono no mado saki da, is um, that is a real magical stone, no doubt about it. 100% correct. So it's just saying this statement is correct. Machigai naku. There is no doubt about it. So let's go read our line from the book. Hi. この小さんは間違が間違いなく本物の魔術師だ。この小さん、this 小さん、no but no doubt about it, he is the real magician. Perfect. Um, this is our next word. Do you remember how this kanji is read? Shoku. Shokuji. Yep, shokuji. So shokuji osuru is to take someone, to, to have a meal together, basically, to take someone to a meal or something like that. It's not to make a meal. It's like to have a meal with somebody. Shokuji osuru. Hi. Okay. Shokuji. And this to basically means with in this context. So can you read this sentence for me? Majutsu shi wa. Right. Meaning, the magician with the thief go to a meal. Yes, exactly. Or do a meal. Yep, they did a meal together. They had a meal together. Nice. Um, do you know what doko means? Doko is where. Perfect. So, can you read this for me? Majutsu shi nan ka doko ni iru. Hi. So when you say nan ka, not nani ka, nan ka, this basically is modifying whatever came before it and to be almost like something like that. So something like a magician, doko ni iru. Doko ni iru. Where from or where to? Uh, so Iru is a little bit exception with how it takes me. It just is where is he existing? 
Dokoniru. Or where is there something like a magician? Dokoni iru. I'm using iru because a majutsushi is sentient. So you can say so dokoni this... aru if you're looking for an object. So this question is where is the magician? Yes. Well, something where like is a he now? Yes. Right now. I see. And, and the nanka is basically saying it doesn't have to be a magician, but it should be something similar to a magician. Could be like a witch or I don't know. A magical girl. Something like a magician. Hi. Um, do you know what baka means? An idiot. Exactly. So this sentence right here, don't take this as a serious question because you can tell just by like the words being used, he's saying this a little bit sarcastically. Um, but can you read the sentence for me? Majutsu shi nanka to shokichi o tsuru Baka ga doko ni iru. Hi. So first off, our main sentence is baka ga doko ni iru. What does that mean? Baka ga doko ni iru. Baka ga doko ni iru. The idiot. Where is where is yes. the idiot? Where is the idiot? As you can kind of see, he's not meaning this literally, right? He's not looking for an idiot. Where is the idiot? Is literally like when we, when we say that in English, it kind of sounds a little bit rhetorical, right? Like you're insulting somebody. And then he's describing the idiot as majutsushi nanka to shokuji suru. So what is this thing that the idiot would do? Partake, partake in a meal with such a thing as a magician. Exactly. The kind. Yes. Yep. So where is the idiot that would partake in such a thing as a meal with a magician? So pr pr pretty funny line. <laughs> and he's like, I'm the idiot. <laughs> yeah, but he's so hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Um, our next word is wameku, which is like to make a ruckus in like a screaming kind of way. Like, ah, wameku. Wameku. Scream. Um, and they're using this Wine. in a yeah, in a metaphorical kind of way. Uh can you read the sentence for me? Ore no hara wa de kai koe de wameku. With a loud voice, I moan or whiny uh what is the stomach. Mean? Yeah, so my, my stomach... tummy yeah grumble loudly basically specifically it's saying his stomach loudly screams loudly scream Hi. <laughs> but, but yes he's meaning it's like his stomach is like please it's grumbling it wants the food it protests <laughs> it protests his better judgment so so <laughs> <laughs> so this kanji right here is not being read as taberu and it's also not being read as shoku do you know how it might be read if it's ending with wateru? Wateru? Right. So basically, this kind mm. has three, I think, common readings. One of them is shoku, which is not, in, which is, which it is not here. And the other one Hai. is tabe. And what's tabe? The, the third one? Do you know? Kui? Yep, kui. Kui, which is, um, ku would be the dictionary form ku. of that. Ku. Ku. So Kuwa right seru. here. Yes, kuwasuru. So only the ku, like one ku. So not ku, ku, kuwasuru. Hi. So kuwasuru means to feed, basically, to feed. To Do you feed. remember what, yeah. Do you remember what nanka means? Nanka, it's. Sorry, nanika. Mm -hmm. Not nanka, nanika. 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 Nanika would be what thing? Exactly. What thing? Specifically, something. Something. I'm sorry. Something or everything. You mentioned this, right? Uh, the everything and nothing is nani mo. Nani mo. Oh, you're right. right. I mixed it up. They're very similar. Um, How's this word read? Kuwaseru. Perfect. Let's go read this sentence then. Wait, I'm sorry, just to clarify, hi, this hi. seru, does that mean that this is a causative? This is um, to be able to feed on, to to allow to feed? 
So theoretically, it would be, but it's an actual word in the dictionary. So theoretically, um, kuwasu can turn into kuwasidu. So it could have, it's either, depending on the context, it could be passive. But translating this as passive is a little bit odd. Uh, so this is actually not passive. You know <laughs> it, why I asked this, money? Because yeah. if you look at this, look at this verb here, it's technically it's ku u and the u get modified into the a road, which is wa. And then it get attached to seru. Does that make, is that right? Do you know how the u? Maybe. The the a ah, the a ah row of the u in in the godan mm -hmm. is the wa sound and not the a ah sound. Yeah. Okay. I'm 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 just I'm tangent again. I'm sorry. It's it simply means to feed. <laughs> it, it it's hard because like they're very similar and but they they have different dictionary options. So it it is like ku then it comes kuwasu and then kuwasu is something you could probably do but it the, the definition is a little bit different than if you're just doing the normal conjugation of those for just like the grammar of it hey just like a little bit yeah originally i was actually going to have kuwasu as the word in here and then i looked at the because because it's the potential form of that and i was like wait that doesn't make any sense <laughs> sentence uh so i would change the particles of this was um potential because can you read the sentence for me you, you'll kind of see uh how it's not potential in this context hi kon wa hara ni nanka o kuwaseru hi um so this means kon feeds something to his stomach so you see it doesn't mm. actually follow the grammatical rule if it was kuwaseru from kuwasu or kuwaseru from ku so that's why we know it's a different word because that this is what that sentence means. Um, <laughs> it's it's one of those he like they just happen to look the same. It's kind of like cool. how um miru um mi naru I think is could be passive or it could be causative depending on the context because they're identical. Right. So that that's what that is. I, I believe this is just identical to the um. The form you mentioned earlier that I forgot. I think it's the passive and then causative stacked on each other. But yeah. Hi. Hey. Okay. Imperative form. We saw imperative form not that long ago with u verbs. It's a little bit different with do verbs. For do verbs, you switch the do into a do. So nidu to look similar becomes nido. So how would you change hey. kuwaseru to be into you better form? Kowatsero. Yeah, kowatsero. You know what? You better feed me. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? Um, karappo means. Karappo, empty. Yep, empty. Perfect. Um, <laughs> so now I'm having you learn kara when it's with po. It's also it's pronounced as su and suku, like onoka um, onaka suita, for example, and also soda for sky. But right now you're just learning the kara meaning. Kara. Can you read the sentence for me? Kara wa karappo da. Hi. Probably more not of o with here, but yeah. What does the sentence mean? It means the tummy is empty. Exactly. The tummy is empty. Um, do you know what kino means? Pretty common word. Kino. Yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Perfect. So now we're looking at kara. Specifically kata that goes after nouns, not a kata that goes after sentences. So if this was because kata, this would have a da right here between it and a noun. So it'd be like rokuji dakara would be because, but there's no da here. So that means it's going directly after a noun. And that means kata. So it, hey. it's same as the English word from, there's no real difference. Um, it just it goes after whatever it's modifying. Well, in English from comes before. So if I said from six o'clock to seven o'clock, that'd be rokuji kara nanaji made. Um, can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Hi, ji san kara nusunda. What does this mean? 
It means I stole from the Jisan. Exactly. Perfect. So our next word, this is actually um, two words with a particle. Uh, where do you think the word boundaries are in this? The word boundary, two words that okay. form the verb. Uh, no, we have a noun here with a particle and then a verb. I'm just I'm just having it on one page because uh, if I taught you the verb, it's kind of useless. It's the nothing verb basically. It has it's one of those verbs that has twenty thousand meanings and it really only has meaning depending on what it's attached to. Hi. <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> that, that's just so yeah. I'm just like, huh. So why don't you read this for me and tell me where is the noun? Kojo ga kakata. The noun is kojo. Or I'm sorry, kosho. Kosho is um, pepper. Um, basically, Hi. you know, the black pepper spots. And kosho ga kakata basically means to have black pepper on it. It kind of insinuates a lot of black pepper. So that just means to uh, sprinkle that black pepper over something. Have that sprinkled on, basically. But yeah, kakata on its own has too many meanings and doesn't. It's basically the verb we're using for kosho to say there is kosho on this. Kosho wa right. kakata. Okay, let's go read the sentence. Ino kara nani mo kuase na kata. Hi. Hmm. I I did not get anything to eat since yesterday. Yeah, nothing was fed since yesterday. So it could be e or it could be something else. Doesn't really doesn't have the context. Probably I, because mm. we always care about ourselves. But something was not so fed. The... Yes, makes sense. Um, hi. Uh, do you know what demo means? Demo mean however. Yes, however or but. You got you've seen all the buts lately. It um, mean kedo. Dakedo. <laughs> also. <laughs> um so yeah, now you get to go read our line from the book. Hi. Demo. Uh kino kara. Karapo no ore no hara wa. Utano aburi nukio kuasero. I'm sorry, niku o kawasero. Kosho no kakata. Jagai mo to pai o kuasero. O de kai to de kai koe de. Hi. So yeah, that's a big sentence, but who's doing the wameku? Harawa. Yep. So stomach is screaming. Whose stomach is screaming? Um, whose stomach? Well, it's Khan's stomach. So so Khan's stomach. And what do we know about uh, the stomach? It's karapo. Yep. It is. What does that mean? It's empty. Yep. So we got, however, from yesterday, my empty stomach has been screaming in what? The kai koe. Um. Been screaming and. Okay, so all of that is connect to Ah, it's been uh, asking to feed feed me grilled pork uh, with uh, pep with pe grilled pork with pepper oh, no, 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 no feed me grilled pork pepper speck pepper speckle Pepper on uh, steamed tomato. I'm sorry. Pepper on potato and pie. Feed me. Yep. And it says it in a dekai voice, in a loud voice. 
Well, since yesterday, my empty stomach has been screaming at me in a loud voice. Feed me! Feed me all this food! And I was trying to say sprinkle it, sprinkle it with, but sprinkle I somehow it. just can't produce that word. Yeah, I'm not sure what would be the correct word for kakata in English. <laughs> kakata. kakata. <laughs> yeah, we're at our halfway point, so we're switching to the next Zoom meeting. See you in two seconds.